it's Sandra with my best friend Angel, my best fairy friend and my kid daughter, aren't you? She's beautiful. Look, I got the little tree there. So happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas from me and my best beautiful girl. Daughter guinea pig angel, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas to you, happy Christmas, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas, happy Christmas, happy Christmas to you. So this is my best girl, Angel, who's four and a half. And she's the most beautiful, beautiful guinea pig. Her name is Angel. And uh yeah. She's helping cheer me up. Um guinea pigs have very healing powers, especially when you're really closely bonded to one like I am. So when I touch her fur and, and feel her warmth and love, it just radiates very, very beautiful healing vibes all across my body. So thank you for those of you who've given me well wishes lately um if you haven't already read the post you might know that i'm signed off sick by the doctor for a month now i've also got an infection that i've got antibiotics for when i've got to go for an ultrasound at the hospital in january but i'm gonna be positive and have this time to heal and then hopefully by the time i have the scan at the hospital everything will be like clear but being with my daughter angel who usually is with my parents is just wonderful because she really makes me feel happy. She's very much a superhero. Because um, she had cataracts in both eyes. Because she was completely blind. And she had diabetes. And she's still got diabetes. But she's down to one insulin at the moment. Instead of two. And this eye's completely healed. Can you see? So she had cataracts in both her eyes. Both her eyes. Um, I don't know if you can see the other eye. But the other eye is still. I don't think you can see it. But the other eye is still blind. But, you know, this one is healed. Look at that. And so apparently um, it is impossible for cataracts to go. Like, it's not meant to be, ever be possible for that to happen. Um, but, you know, it's gone. So let's wave. <laughs> let's, hello, Vito. Nice to see you. And, uh, yeah, so she's had one cataracts from where I completely disappeared. At the moment, she's down to one inch instead of two. So she's really a cutie. She's very much a superhero in real life. Because um, she's had two major operations as well. And she's survived both. Uh, whereas her housemate didn't. And friend didn't. Um, survive the first one. So obviously she's she's been on her own for a while. But she lives with my parents in a, in a indoor cage. And she's with my mum the whole time in the day. So she's never really on her own. But she's very active. She eats a lot. Like my parents. I've got half their basket full of food just for her. But um, yeah, thanks for the like love. She really loves it. Can you see? She's very enjoying herself and her time chilling out with me. You're in a chill time, aren't you, gorgeous? You're so chilled out there. You're so chilled out. Look at that. Look at all the people watching you and saying how beautiful you are. So she's a teddy guinea pig. And she looks like a teddy bear, don't you, honey? And when she last went for a check at the vet, she's going again this um, Friday. 
she uh, was uh, having cuddles with the nurses. I don't think they wanted to let her go quite soon, did they? And they're like, oh, we've been cuddling her. She's so cute. And it's like, yeah, she's very cute. Look at that little nose. That's a piece of um, pepper that's fallen down. Did you want to eat that yet? You've had quite a lot of food today, haven't you? She's had a lot of food, haven't you, darling? Do you want that or not? She's had a whole packet of spinach. She was on YouTube a little while ago on my channel, Asexualized channel. And she had a whole bag of spinach. Well, she had um, she had ate quite a bit already before. I've got some food here for her um, of the spinach before. You've had enough of food, have you? You have ate a lot of food, I've got to admit. Um, so, yeah, she's just chilling out with mummy now, aren't you? You're chilling out with mummy. Or do you smell food now? I've took it away. <laughs> but I've got food by the side of me. So, yeah, she's very beautiful. Uh, she's just on a visit today because, she, like I said, she lives with my parents because I can't inject her because she's diabetic. Uh, but she's very gorgeous. And we're having a pre-Christmas get-together, aren't we, honey? So she's got lots of healing vibes, like I said. Guinea pigs are very healing. Well, they are for me anyway, because I've got a very special bond. So um, our favourite song together is Angel. I'm your angel, you know, with Celine Dion on R. Kelly. It goes... I am your angel, I am your angel. So yeah, um, me and Angel wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. As you can see, I'm really happy when I'm with her and she really cheers me up, makes me feel a whole lot better. You know, my body feels like really relaxed when I'm with her. It's like it's like therapy for my soul and my body and my mind and my spirit. Me and Angel are very spiritually connected. So in terms of spirituality, uh, you can be connected to animals. I don't know if you knew that. And um, I believe a guinea pig is one of my spirit animals because I'm so connected to guinea pigs usually. And me and Angel just get on so well. I mean, just look how peaceful she is there. She's just laid down, aren't you, darling? She's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Aww. So she's absolutely beautiful, aren't you? You're gorgeous. She usually eats my hair, don't you? You usually eat my hair. We're laying on the bed together. I have got my decorations up. I don't know if you can see that. So I've got... Oops. Um, I don't want to take too much time out uh, away from Angel, but I've got a little Christmas tree there. And I've got some of the decorations up. But people don't want to see that. They want to see your beautiful face instead. There we go. We've got viewers now. Because Angel's back on camera. They only want to see you. They don't want to see my decorations. But yeah, so um, Angel, like I said, is four and a half. And uh, she's beautiful, yeah. So uh, she's got natural shampoo for her coat. So it's nice and fluffy. And um, she likes to go in and out of tubes. So she has a cardboard tube. And she's got a pig glue, which is basically an igloo for guinea pigs. And, um, oh, Rahul said... Uh, sent their love to you. Isn't that nice? Um, you're going to eat my... See, she's eating my hair now. See? That piece of hair she was eating. I've got food for you, honey. You want to try food? Do you want that or is it no good for you? You've had a lot of food today already. Is that no good for you? Uh, what else can we have? Oh, do you like, what about yellow pepper? Oh, whoops. Do you want to eat that? Oh, she's eating. I love watching her eat. Super cute. Look at that. Oh, you all right? <laughs> Bums in my face. <laughs> what are you doing? It's over here. Don't 
eat my um my cord? She wants to eat more of that. Or have you had enough? Hello, Mickey. Hello, people. Hey. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. Sikesh. Hello. This is Angel. Angel of mine. <laughs> like, why is mummy doing weird movements? <laughs> so. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Don't we love our Christmas songs, Angel? Hello, gorgeous. You're right. You're like, who are you talking to, mummy? Talking to the lovely people on Facebook. They want to see you because they love you. I don't think they love you as much as me, obviously. <laughs> but I love you. You are a superstar, did you know that? Look how gorgeous you are. Everyone is looking at how beautiful you are. You can tell by my face how much I love her. Look at me, I'm beaming. I haven't been as happy as this for a while. Apart from I was Skyping my best friend last night, so I was happy Skyping them. They made me laugh. But yeah, actually in my flat, I don't usually see anyone because of isolation, obviously. Because I don't really see anyone anyway. Like, my best friends don't live uh, near me. They all live around the country, bless them. So yeah, but it's nice that i got best friends. I've got three, three best friends and, well, three best friends. And i got another, i got best Indian friend and another really close Indian friend. And yeah, online. So yeah, um, Rahul and Akil, and then I've got um, Debs, uh, Andy and Sam are my best friends, so giving them all a shout out, yeah, so I'm very blessed to have lots of friends and obviously I know a lot of you messaged me, Little, we spoke the other day, hello to you, my message, it's really lovely to see you all. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. I wish you a merry, merry Christmas. And um, even though I'm all sick at the moment, like, I can still talk. So that's good, isn't it? <laughs> like, yeah, talking's a gift, I think. Like, people overestimate talking. No, overestimate it, underestimate it. You know, they don't see the beauty in it, I don't think. But it's very important, you know. With words, you can express yourself clearly, concisely, and you can tell someone how much you care about them and me and angel love each other implicitly don't we darling we love each other implicitly yeah yeah we love each other implicitly celebrate the times come on do 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 it's a celebration Celebrate good times, come on, it's a celebration. There's a party going on around here. Let's celebrate every day of the year. Cause me and Angel want to say hello. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a ho ho ho. <laughs> Don't we darling, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a ho ho ho. <laughs> She's like, what's that funny Sandra doing now? Takes a lot of skill to hold the phone like this. And actually beat the angel on my hand going a bit like, ah. Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. It's a celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's a celebration. There's a party going on around here. 
Let's celebrate every day of the year. There's a party going on around here. Let's celebrate right here. I always love celebrating when I'm with Angel. She's the love of my life. Just look at this. You don't need any more love in the world when you've got the love of an angel. She blesses you with her beauty and her beautiful fur and her gorgeous face. And her lovely eyes and her cute, cute button nose. They say that owners usually look like their pets. And if I look anything like Angel, cute and fluffy, I'm quite happy with that label. <laughs> oh, I may not live up to the cute and fluffiness of Angel, but I'm trying. <laughs> Naturally trying. <laughs> But yeah, hello Philip, nice to see you. But yeah, um, we're just, uh, oh, let's give Philip a wave if we can with the, while well, I'm trying to hold the phone as well. Whee! Oh, can we do it? Oh. Oh, Rich, hello Rich. Beautiful. Oh, Rich says you're beautiful. Isn't that nice? You're getting all the love today, Angel. Look at this. All the love. You got love from me. You got love from all these people watching you. Don't tune into. <laughs> Look, whoops! I've turned the camera around now. Why have I turned the camera around? Oh dearie me! Need to turn it back again. Back, back, back. <laughs> Angel's like, what are you doing, mummy? There we go. We've got Angel's back now. Thank you, Rich, for saying Angel's beautiful. I really appreciate that. She is very, very beautiful guinea pig. I mean, she is stunning. If there was a model guinea pig, she'd be it. Oh, hi, Diane. Nice to see you. Let's give Diane a wave. Oh, <laughs> oh. you're going to wash your face. Don't eat the cord because that's part of my hoodie. Or do you want to eat this? Have you ate enough? She's ate loads of food today, I have to say. So, um, yeah, she's really, really cute really really cute you're getting all this love isn't that nice christmas love jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun is to be with an angel every day i wish because she lives with my parents usually but i'm just happy to be with her today oh we so love each other look at this she's so at peace can you see look at her eyes content She's got like mouse ears, if you notice that. They're so cute. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Angel. You've got like mouse ears. In the most sweetest possible way, honey. I didn't mean in a bad way. I meant in a good way, sweetheart. you got like whiskers, haven't you? I like the film Ratatouille, actually. Ratatouille's got nice, cute ears. Not as cute as yours, obviously. But you're the love of my life. Look at that. Wow, she's massive. <laughs> Who said, wow, she's massive? Oh, that was, um, that was Alison. Hello, Rich. Hello, Alison. Thank you. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. She's a, a <laughs> she's a nice size guinea pig, shall we say. She's lovely. You're like a big fluffy teddy bear, aren't you, Angel? I'm surprised my hand's holding up. My hand is like a bit falling asleep nearly. There we go. There we go. You are my angel. Oh, I need the pillow behind my head. Ow, my neck's hurting. You are my angel. You're right, sweetheart. Don't eat my cord. I'm worried that you're going to start eating my cord. You've got food to eat. I don't want you eating my cord. What's happened to my cord? You're right. Hello, uh, Rich. Hello, Sandra says Rich. Hello. Oh, she might need to go back in a minute. She has been out for quite a long time, haven't you, darling? 
you need to go back now? She's like a neck warmer. <laughs> she is, uh, yeah, she is like a neck warmer, but more lovely. I think she might need the toilet, might you, darling? You need the toilet or do you need food? One or the other. Ow. My neck's been in an awkward position. Do you want food? Food or toilet? Which do you put? Oh, food. I've got to hold the camera, hold you, and hold a piece of carrot, a thin piece of carrot, at the same time. This was a lot of skill. Do you know that? <laughs> Good girl. Ow. My neck's really hurting at this angle. Oh, man. She... <laughs> Yeah, she is like a neck warm. She's now eating carrot. So instead of leaving carrots out for the reindeer, I give them all to Angel. <laughs> you should have your own show, Angel. Well, you practically have anyway. Because I have to admit that you're the best. There we go, more carrot. She doesn't usually have much carrot, to be fair, because you've got to be careful with carrot. I had a guinea pig once and it had a calcium stone in its stomach and it was because it had kept having loads of carrots but she doesn't have much and these are cut up really fine they're actually part of my um vegetable stir fry natural stir fry raw stuff that I got that I got for me and I knew she'd probably like some of it as well so I got bits of cabbage and carrot so but she's allowed them as a treat just so long as they're not all the time you liking that? I think you are. She loves food, drink and eat. Sleep, eat, drink, repeat. Mostly sleep and eat, isn't it? You're not, you know, you're more keen on eating than drinking. It's like being at a private zoo with one animal and a mum. <laughs> Oh man, my neck hurts. <sighs> What's this? Oh, this is, is this onion? Or is this cabbage? I don't know what that is. Is it edible or not? <laughs> oh, this is cabbage. Yeah, this is cabbage. Do you like cabbage? Or no? Good girl. Mm, you're having a variety of foods today here, aren't you? You had a whole bag of parsley earlier. Usually if she squeaks, it means she needs a toilet or she needs more food. There's a good girl. I love the noise of them eating. So peaceful and therapeutic. Can you hear that? Well, do you want more food? What next? This is a piece of cabbage. Can you eat that? Wow. We're having a feast. A Christmas feast. Vegetarian. What else have I got here? So I've got lots of stuff here. I've got some more carrot for you. Alison says, yum, yum, with a kiss. That's nice of her, isn't it? Are you into the dark stuff? I like the dark stuff, but I'm not sure if you like it or not. Do you like the... Oh, gosh. Do you like the dark stuff or no? You're not that bothered about the dark one, are you? Dark. Oh, that's tasty. It's really nice because I like that myself. 
very healthy for you. Don't wander too far down there, babes. You had enough of eating now for now, or do you want some more food? Food or not enough? Hungry still? Had enough for now. What are you doing? <laughs> you can't go on my pillow. Come on, up you come. Ow! Good girl. Why are you going too far down the bed? I don't want you falling off. Got some more food before we finish for today. For now, not for the whole day. More? Hello, Jess. Nice to see you. Do you want more food or have you had enough food now? Yes? No? Do you want more carrot? Carrot? Or have you finished eating? Carrot or no? Have you finished? You seem to have finished. Have you finished eating? Oh. I think she probably wants to go to the toilet now. She needs to leave, sweetheart. So there, um, I don't know if you can see, I've got a day cage for her. Oh, I don't think you can see it. Um. Oh, what a cutie, says Jennifer. That's nice, isn't it? I think she needs to go to the toilet, though, so we're going to have to go with it. This is her day cage. It's just for her visiting. I don't know if you can see it. Like, there, that's her day cage. At the moment, I've got, like, loads of Christmas stuff up everywhere. Look all the decorations. Whee! So I think I think we're gonna have to wave goodbye to the people. The phone case is now swinging. But um, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, she's got to go toilet, I think. She needs a toilet. Anyway, we're gonna say uh, goodbye for now, for today. Lots of love, and uh, we appreciate you being here. Thanks for the love for Angel. Take care. Lots of love. Bye to you. Bye.